Hey what's up guys this is Ravi Singh from Tech Post and today in this video I will show you how you can easily create your own VPN server that is a virtual private network for free. Now you can have full control over your VPN and you can choose which country uh, location you want to have. Now there are some limitations to it and uh, that we will discuss at the end of this video. So if you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel. We upload videos related to tech tutorials, gadget reviews and much more. So please subscribe. Now to create a VPN server, we will need few things. Starting with the Linux server. So we will first sign up at DigitalOcean as their servers are pretty good and you are charged on hourly basis. But you don't worry, just follow the link in the description and uh, I promise you that you will get $10 free on your sign up at DigitalOcean and you can use this credit to create a free server and use it for around a month or two. Now let's start setting up our server. So just go to the DigitalOcean.com and log in and then click on create droplet. Now select Ubuntu 16.04 as server image and then choose size available. Uh, I'll choose $5. Uh, it will work just fine. Now select the data center region. Now this will be the location of your VPN server. And so choose it as per your preference. I will select Singapore. You can select any, any of the data center. Your VPN location will be of there. So if you are living in India, if you choose US, your location will be shown as US when you use your VPN server. Now leave other settings as it is and finally choose or enter a name of your server you want to give and click on create. I'll name it OpenVPN and it will take a few seconds to deploy your server and our server will be ready soon. Now we also need some other tools and let's download Putty. So we'll download Putty which is an SSH client and Mac users can use their terminal command or third party terminal like item 2. We also need FileZilla so make sure you download it and install it. Mac users can install our browser. Uh, these are FTP clients which we, we will use to download files from our server and once it's ready you will receive login details like username and password on your registered email account. Now once it's ready, go to your Gmail account or email account and copy the password and start Putty SSH client. Now enter the IP of your server in the Putty. So click on connect and press yes button when prompted. Now, now you are connected with your server and you have to log into your server. So enter username as root and then enter the password you received on your email. Now to copy, use Ctrl C or right click mouse and copy and to paste it in the SSH command line, use right mouse click. Just press right click once and it will be copied. It will not be visible but it will be copied as its password it, it will not be visible. Hit enter. Now you will be asked to change your password. So change it and create a new password that you can remember. Now once done with that, let's check for any update. So to check it, we will type apt-get update and hit enter. Now if there is any update available, uh, we will update it and upgrade our server. So to upgrade it, we'll type apt-get space upgrade space minus y and hit enter. Now your server will be upgraded in few seconds. Now once it's, it has been upgraded, uh, 
you can go to the description uh, down below this video and uh, copy the command and paste it in the SSH terminal terminal using the right mouse click it's a long command so once you have entered it hit enter now you will be asked for some settings like IP so just hit enter just check it if IP is same it will be same so you don't need to check it just hit enter select the protocol uh, if you want UDP or TCP I'll select UDP uh, by entering one and then hit enter now if port says 1194 hit enter now choose DNS I'll select Google DNS for now you can select any of them uh, from available six DNS servers now finally give your client a name uh, you you can give any name I'll name it techpost.org so you can enter any name uh, it's a client profile that you need to create uh, and that will be used to connect with our VPN servers that we are creating finally done with the naming and all hit enter again hit enter and it will start setting up your VPN server and it will take few minutes around five to six minutes to set it up or maybe less than that Once it's finished, it will show you a message that uh, your client configuration is available in the root directory with the name you provided and uh, with the extension .opvn. Now we will use FileZilla here to download opvn file from our server. Mac users can use our browser instead of FileZilla because FileZilla I think I don't think it's available for Mac users. So uh, I'll be using FileZilla. So open the FileZilla, enter the IP of your server, the username and password, password that you have changed and uh, enter 22 in the port field and then click on quick connect. Now it will load all files and directory present in your server. So just look for the file with the client name you provided earlier and extension .opvn. Uh, once you have find it, just download it and uh, now we are almost there and uh, we need to download the open vpn client app to use our vpn server so we will use uh, and download pritnal which is uh, a free vpn client open vpn client you can use any paid clients also to connect with your vpn server it's totally up to you Now we will um, import the .opvn file we just downloaded from our server using the Pretinal app and then click on connect. Now it will automatically connect to our VPN server that we just created. Now if you check your IP, it will be changed with the location of your server. So let's check ours and uh, yeah our IP has been changed it's showing that our IP that my PC or my location is Singapore so you can also use this VPN server on your Android Mac or iPhone or iPad devices as I said earlier all you have to do is copy the .opvn file or create or you can also create new new profile and then import it via client app you can download OpenVPN client app on Play Store for Android and on App Store for iPhone or iPad. Just tap on the three dot menu, tap on import and then locate the .opvn file. Tap on connect button and you will be connected to your VPN server in no time. 
सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट योर ओन वीपीएन सर्वर गाइज फॉर योर सेल्फ एंड इवन शेयर दिस विद योर फ्रेंड्स फैमिली एंड रिलेटिव फॉर सिक्योर इंटरनेट सर्फिंग आई होप यू इंजॉय दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव मच मोर कमिंग अप सो स्टे ट्यून इन अपकमिंग गाइड्स वी विल डिस्कस ऑन हैकिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड सम मोर इनोवेटिव आइडियाज सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो hit like if you loved it it's been nice guys thank you i'll see you in my next video